Hello there guys, today I'm going to show you ha um, another piece of software to connect to your computer remotely and this thing is a hell of a lot easier than TeamViewer that I showed you about two years ago now. It's called Crossloop and when, as soon as you see the interface you're going to be so relieved that there's something much more, well, easier basically because I mean literally it's just it's a matter of clicking two buttons and I'm going to show you it so just run the setup it's very easy to go through so I'm just waiting for this to um, to begin in installing Actually, hang hang on a second. I'm I'm just gonna try and get rid of this lag. Hang on. Okay, that's better. Um, so select setup language. So I'm gonna say English. Just click next. Accept the agreement. And uh, choose your icons. Click install. Now watch this. It says configuring Windows Firewall. So what it does is it actually adds in those exceptions for you, so you don't have to worry about port forwarding. Now as for your router, you don't need to worry about putting in port forwarding for your router either. For some reason, it does not need to be port forwarded. It just needs to be let through uh, Windows Firewall, which it does for you. So, you know, really, really easy to set up because you don't have to do any port forwarding at all. Now it does something called a self-test on you, so I'm guessing it's making you share your own screen to see if it's alright or not. So I'm going to say allow access to private networks. So I'm sharing my own screen right now, and then it's gone. So that's just testing, you know, if you can get through the firewall, and get, I, I guess. Uh, now, when you first start it up, you're gonna get a little create a, an account thing, but just say later, okay? Because you do not need to create an account at all. So basically, it is, as you can see, it is very simple. We've got access and share. Now, some of you may already know what's coming, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to tell you. So your name, it can be anything you want. You, you know, you can say just whatever. And um, it also it always is the same in the share tab as it is in the access tab. By the way, so all you got to do, um, I've got I've taken the liberty of installing this in a virtual machine, and I'm going to connect to it. So the virtual machine is the receiving end. I am the connecting end. So if you're getting help from someone. You just want to start up cross loop by double clicking it. And as far as the settings are concerned, you know, th there's barely anything in there. Just change your language, check for updates, look at information. So every single time you start it up, I think it uh, it wants to do a little self test. It would see. So click later. Oh, actually, no. This is the first time I've started up this one. Forget what I said. Uh, anyway, so this is the computer that I'm helping out so I'm on the phone to them or either that or I'm on an IM client for instance so if you're at the uh, the um, receiving end just click connect that's all you have to do as for your access code oh wait a minute 
as for your access code, just copy and paste this into IM or send it to them by email or just tell it to them over the phone. Okay? So you want to just uh, tell them the access code in any way uh, you, you can do it. Click connect. So right now, as the uh, connecting end, I have two minutes to put in that access code. Otherwise, the two minutes expires and the access code will expire. So it's really secure, as you can see. So at the access end, it's very easy. All I have to do is put in the access code and click connect. So it's connecting right now. And then at this end, at the uh, receiving end, um, it says who I would like to share control of the computer and do I want to continue. I could say no if if I wasn't too sure about who this is. So so yeah, as you can see, it's just really, really, you know, it, it's not dangerous at all. And I would say it's even better than TeamViewer, I, I think, you know, just, just because of how simple it is. And if I want to, I could tick this box that says view only. So they won't be able to control my computer at all. They can only view it. But I'm going to control it. So I'm going to say yes. Hmm. Just try that again. I think my two minutes might have expired because of my Gavin. <laughs> okay, so I, I've told I've told you what to do with that little dialogue now. I'll, I'll just click OK now. So you know, click click yes. So now at my end, it launches a little viewer, and as you can see, this is the computer that I'm controlling. And you know. Even though it may look a bit laggy, it's not laggy at all. It's just because it's a, re a remote connection. That's all it is. Look, see, I, I can control the computer any way I want. I can uh, go to the program files. If there's something wrong with it, you know, like a virus or something, I can go ahead and delete it. I can start the task manager. Uh, you know, go ahead and end the virus process if needs be. Now, just to prove to you that this is not laggy at all, and it's just simply because it's a remote connection and it always, it's just a little bit of a low quality kind of thing. If you go over here, look, see, it it's not laggy at all it's 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 just uh it's just my end so it is working see see the little start menu pop up right there you can also uh send the start signal uh, you can have a look at the status window you can um, have a look at all the stats that you got. You can go full screen if you want to. So yeah, you know, it, it's really, really cool, to be honest. And I think that the fact that this is free is just amazing. So all you got to do 
is and and if you are the receiving end as well, you can even click disconnect right there because I think you you actually both have control of the computer. And there's also yeah, you can even take off the share control thing as well so that only the pe the person whose computer it is can actually um control the computer. Anyway, um, so you know, I, I've done finished. I've done what I've done. I finished fixing the computer, so I click disconnect, and then that's it. It's that easy, really. Uh, in the settings, you can you can go ahead and send files or receive them. In the settings, it's not that much. You can change access code. So yeah, you know, like I say, it just randomly changes it. So whenever you start up the, the program even, it's always different. So that really makes it secure. And you can change your language. And that's that's it really. It's, um, like I say, it is a really, really easy program to use. I would definitely recommend it. If you... Um, if you would ever want me to help you out with something, you know, just um, if you contact if you contact me over YouTube and then go ahead and, and install Crossloop. If I have some free time, I'll go ahead and connect to you and help you out with whatever the problem is. So uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, about those messages that always pop up down here saying that my computer is like too slow. Um. I'm probably gonna just leave it like this, actually. So whenever I, whenever I do a video, I'm just gonna change my display settings to basic, you know. So yeah. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Uh, like I say, if you need any help, just tell me and install Crossloop, and I'll connect to you. I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.